In this episode we're going to take a look at this camera. I bought this camera for around 50 bucks. The retail price for this camera is over 650 bucks and I paid less than 50 bucks for this camera. Well, what's wrong with it is that it's broken. The lens is broken. So let's see what we have bought. We have uh, a lot of loose uh, screws and brackets and uh, yeah. So this camera has been disassembled before and that's always a risk when trying to repair something. The previous owner might have broken the camera even more and uh, by looking at this it doesn't look good. Here I'm doing a functionality test and I find that the flash does not seem to go down. I try like everything and it doesn't go down and I think that has to do something with the bracket that I extracted from the plastic bag earlier and uh, we'll see if we can fix that later. As we have a lot of uh, loose parts I thought it would be best to try to organize the screws and bolts as I don't know where all the screws will go in the camera. I find it best to stay organized. For the disassembly of the camera, I thought of using double sided tape to place each bolt onto the paper, and that way you can type under each bolt and state where each bolt goes and stay organized and have a roadmap when you go to assembly the camera later. It should also be noted that we have no guarantee that the bolts that we disassemble and remove are the correct bolts. So we have to do by trying, trial and error. To remove the screen, there are four screws in each corner that we have to remove. I made a sketch so that I can verify that all the bolts are the same. And when I looked at them, only three of the bolts were the same and one were different. So this has to be noted and I do a little drawing to see where the bolts go. Now you can remove the screen. You have to be careful when uh, removing the ribbon cable. And you shouldn't use metallic tweezers. You should use plastic when working on the ribbon cables. It's very easy to break them. Now we will remove the hidden screw in the battery compartment. Now it's time to try and remove the top cover of the camera. This was somewhat tricky and you had to wiggle it and get it in the perfect angle to get it out. The glass was smashed. There's a lot of small glass pieces that you don't want to cut yourself with, so it's good to vacuum them up. Now we'll draw a sketch of the camera and uh, circle all the bolts. Some of the screws we're missing, so I go to my bucket and see if we have any screws that fit. To 
to remember where each bolt go, we type a number beside each hole and that way we know where each screw go. And now it's time to remove the button and we disconnect the ribbon cable. Again here we have a missing screw so we go to the bucket and see if any screw fits. Now we will try and uh, remove all the pieces for the flash. Since the mechanism for the flash was broken, I thought I could fix it by using uh, some of the parts that came in the plastic bag to try and figure out how the mechanism works. But that didn't work out, so I went on with the disassembly. There's so many small screws and uh, without this uh, double-sided tape it would be impossible to put together again I think. After removing the final screw from the flash, we should be able to lift out the whole assembly. Just like that. And again, here I'm still trying to figure out if I can fix this flash mechanic so it won't stay up all the time. And now we'll remove the side cover. Now we have some uh, ribbon cables that we need to disconnect. And we'll be real careful not to damage the ribbon cable. Sometimes you can use your fingernails to disconnect the ribbon cable. It's often the safest way. Now it's time to remove the two screws at the front. And of course, the last screw is very very tight and with the small screwdriver I'm using I don't get enough leverage to remove it. So this goes on for quite some time. One trick I figure out is that if you use a glove you can get more grip onto the screwdriver and that allowed me to remove it. Something that I noted here was that the ribbon cable was not attached to the camera, it was disconnected. 
and uh, this means the previous owner had assembled the camera all the way here and then assembled it. So I hope nothing else beside the lens is broken. Now we have all the parts disassembled and we vacuum up some more glass pieces. What we need to do now is order a new lens and wait for it to arrive. I really couldn't let the flash uh, go, so I had to try again. And I actually figured it out how it works. The smaller piece that I had uh, found in the plastic bag was used to lock the flash from going up. And uh, now it works. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode where we assemble the camera and hopefully get it to work.